Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for checking in. I had big plans today. I was gonna get in my Jeep Wrangler, my mobile studio. I was gonna go up to the mountains. I was gonna film, but the weather up there is just terrible at elevation. It's a little bit overcast today. It looks like we may get a little bit of rain. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Cause if you live in SoCal, you know that we desperately need some rain out here with the drought. But as always, the show must go on. Today, we're gonna to be featuring a power bank. Now, in life in the modern world, everybody has a mobile device, some sort of iPad device, action cameras and such. Well, all that requires power. And if you go up to the hills like I do all the time, you're camping, you're backpacking, even if you're on a job site where you don't have power, well, you're gonna need some form of backup. So. The folks over at OutXE were nice enough to send me a power bank with a solar charger on it. Now, I've been testing this out for the past couple weeks, and I like to take a little time before I just punch out a video to be able to use the product to see if it's gonna work as advertised. And that way I have a better understanding of the philosophy of use for the product and just to see if it's gonna live up to some of the claims that the manufacturer states. Well, first thing we're gonna do before we get into the nut and bolts of that is I'm gonna cut away. We're gonna do a quick specs rundown of this power bank, and then I'll come back for some final thoughts and we'll talk about practical application and see if it's an item that's gonna fit your needs. Folks, it's gonna be a fun day. Come along and join me. Folks, just to start off on these final thoughts, I get a lot of requests to test and review gear. And a lot of times I turn stuff down. Um, stuff is just looks cheap, it looks janky. It's stuff that I would not recommend to you folks. When I received uh, an email from the folks at OutXE asking if I wanted to review this, I took a look at the specs and I noticed that it had the solar panel on there and that intrigued me because then I started thinking about the different mission capabilities of this item. One thing I like to do is have redundancies in my kit. There's times when you can't carry that solar panel but you can carry a power bank. Well, a power bank with a solar panel, boom, mind blow, right? Now I have a redundancy. Is the solar panel gonna work as good as if I was just gonna plug it direct into a wall outlet and recharge? Obviously not. It's gonna take a lot longer to power up this power bank. But if I say recharge my iPhone and now I just wanna keep this topped off, I hook it onto my backpack or I hook it onto a harness, I keep it out in the sun, it's gonna to top it off, I'm good to go. Now that's another piece of kit that I don't have to carry with me. For folks with action cameras, I'm a huge GoPro fanboy, but with that, the GoPros have a real crappy battery life. So every time I'm trying to capture that moment, that, that money shot, the battery always dies on me. Well, I could pair my GoPro up with this and now I have pretty much an endless power supplier for all day videoing, whatever you're gonna do. The only thing you're gonna be limited by is the amount of space now on your memory card. So that is an awesome capability just right there. Uh, the construction, it's rugged. All the corners are reinforced. It's like this hard TPE style rubber and I've used that in the past and they'll take a pretty good hit. Uh, the Achilles heel, the weakest point probably on this power bank is gonna be the solar panel, but most of the time you drop stuff, it's either on a corner. So, I mean, it's up in the air. Long-term use, 
is going to be a factor on that and how well it's going to uh, get a hang. Uh, it has four LEDs in the back. Let me turn them on. And that will pretty much run for days. Now it has a solid mode. Click it again. And then I have my strobe. Click it again. Has the SOS mode. I just see this as a great piece of kit to have. Now, one reason I think that it's an awesome piece of kit is that the price range for having a solar panel as part of this whole kit, $39.99 on Amazon, that's a slam dunk. And that's where I'm gonna come into my rating. I usually rate stuff between one and five stars. One being it's a dumper, boom. We're gonna to go to the boneyard, we're gonna scrap it, we're gonna start over five. It's a grand slam, it's doing an awesome job. So far in the month that I've been testing this and I've recharged up my cell phone multiple times on this, my iPads and such, and I've stuck it out and let it recharge the battery. And of course it took a little bit longer, just disclaimer as if I was gonna plug it into a wall, but I would have to give this five stars. Uh, it's done everything I've asked it to and it still goes on and on. And it has an IPX67 rating. So it's dust proof and waterproof, I believe, I wanna say up to a meter. And uh, that's not bad at all. So you got the protection of being dust proof and waterproof, solar panel to recharge, multiple uh, access points. You got a two amp and a one amp. You have a light, you can't beat it. I'll leave a link in the video description below on where to get it on Amazon. For under 40 bucks, folks, it's gonna be a check in the win column. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like and share with all your friends, and follow along on social media. Links in the video description below. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Wingman, out.